Chapter 13 The Master and M August 19, 1883 It was Sunday, the first day after the full moon. Sri Ramakrishna was resting after his noon meal. The midday offering had been made in the temples and the temple doors were closed. In the early afternoon, the master sat up on the small couch in his room. M prostrated himself before him and sat on the floor. The master was talking to him on the philosophy of Vedanta. Master to M Self-knowledge is discussed in the Ashtavakra Samhita. The non-dualists say, Soham, that is, I am the Supreme Self. This is the view of the sannyasis of the Vedantic school. But this is not the right attitude for householders who are conscious of doing everything themselves. That being so, how can they declare, I am that, the actionless supreme self? According to the non-dualists, the self is unattached. Good and bad, virtue and vice, and the other pairs of opposites cannot in any way injure the self, though they undoubtedly afflict those who have identified themselves with their bodies. Smoke soils the wall, certainly, but it cannot in any way affect Akash, space. Following the Vedantists of this class, Krishna Kishore used to say, I am Kha, meaning Akash. Being a great devotee, he could say that with some justification. But it is not becoming for others to do so. But to feel that one is a free soul is very good. By constantly repeating, I am free, I am free, a man verily becomes free. On the other hand, by constantly repeating, I am bound, I am bound, he certainly becomes bound to worldliness. The fool who says only, I am a sinner, I am a sinner, verily drowns himself in worldliness. One should rather say, I have chanted the name of God. How can I be a sinner? How can I be bound? To M You see, I am very much depressed today. Hridaya has written to me that he is very ill. Why should I feel dejected about it? Is it because of Maya or Daya? M could not find suitable words for a reply and remained silent. Master Do you know what Maya is? It is attachment to relatives, parents, brother and sister, wife and children, nephew and niece. Daya means love for all created beings. Now, what is this? My feeling about Hriday? Is it Maya or Daya?
but Hriday did so much for me. He served me wholeheartedly and nursed me when I was ill. But later he tormented me also. The torment became so unbearable that once I was about to commit suicide by jumping into the Ganges from the top of the embankment. But he did much to serve me. Now my mind will be at rest if he gets some money. But whom shall I ask for it? Who likes to speak about such things to our rich visitors?